All right, in this quick video, we're going to talk about sound. There's a couple things we want to learn right away that you need to understand before we can even move on to anything else. So as we talk about sound in the body, we'll talk about waves. And we imagine that they start at a point and they're gonna move through the body. The big thing to know about the way the sound wave moves through the body is that the wave is moving the energy of the wave, not matter. It's not physically moving an object from one place to another. It's moving the energy that the wave produces. So as we think of it, about it moving through the body, the wave interacts with a particle, which interacts with the next particle, which interacts with the next particle. But this particle never never goes anywhere. It just transfers the energy to this particle, which transfers the energy down the line. Another thing we need to know is what type of wave is this that's passing through the body? There's two different types of waves. So you imagine you have your sound source and it can produce a transverse wave, which transfer energy in this direction, in this direction. The wave actually moves up and down or back and forth. There's another type of wave in it, it's a longitudinal, and it moves the energy in this direction along. So longitudinal, it moves along. Let me show you a couple of quick examples of this. This is a transverse wave, and you can see the energy moving. It does move down the path. The main energy is moving side to side. This is a longitudinal. You see the energy moving down. You can see that there's no side to side movement. So with our transverse wave, our energy is moving this direction and this direction, this direction and this direction as the energy moves. What's really important is with our longitudinal wave, and this is what we use in ultrasound, is the energy hits a particle and pushes it to the next particle and transfers the energy. But what we see is we see the particles are far apart. Let's imagine that these, these dots are pieces of tissue. And as the sound wave interacts with the first particle, it's transferred into this particle, which moves to the next particle and transfers the energy. And that energy keeps moving along and transferring. And then this particle can move back. And we'll see this, we'll see this as the, the energy moving down these particles. And there's a couple things we need to know about the way this wave is interacting. As these particles are far apart, this is something we call rarefaction when those particles are far apart. And here, where the particles are close together, we'll call that compression. So there are three things you need to know about our sound wave. Generally, they're longitudinal. Points that are close together, that's our compression. And points that are far apart, that's our rare faction. So that's it for this quick video. If you need any more study materials, we have a full video course at examrefresh.com. We also have study guides and unlimited practice tests.